He had to work around our tree stump. We didn't think about that. I told Larry I thought we ought to light that thing on fire and see if we could get rid of it. He didn't have much room back there be with that tree stump. We laid those rocks on top of there. That wasn't a good idea. Now he's done now. We are so excited to have this, get all that lawn equipment out of the left side of the garage. I think it's good where it's at.
They're trying to get it level now. Yeah, I'm constantly saying, watch your head, Larry. Okay, there she is, all leveled up, and the guys are on their way back to their truck. The, uh, they had a variety of colors that we could get it in. Um, and uh, Larry wasn't too sold on the, on the light gray color. But with our house being blue, they didn't have, the only thing they had uh, in a blue was a real bright, like, Kentucky blue. And I, I vetoed that. So, um, eventually, what we'll probably do is paint it to match the house. But that's one of the reasons why I got the white trim, because then we wouldn't have to uh, paint the trim, too. So I guess that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Okay, this is where we're at with our ramp. This was a feat of engineering. Um, if you can see over on this side, uh, that's ground level. And then over here, we had to fill in some dirt. But look at how much higher it is over here. And we tried to make sure everything was level. The, the shed is level. So we tried to make sure that everything is level to the shed. And uh, we are in the process of putting some gravel down. We put landscape cloth down. And we are in the process of putting some gravel in there, basically to hold the landscape cloth down. And uh, it's a muddy muddy mess it's been raining here we've been trying to work in between the rain and uh anyway this this our temporary ramp larry had to get the mower out and uh, so we just put this up here but today if the rain holds off long enough or it doesn't rain as hard these deck boards will be going um and to fill in around the edges i mean it'll, it'll it, that will be our our ramp the deck boards on, and there's two more two by fours underneath that piece of OSB that um, to support the uh, the deck boards. So that'll make us a real nice ramp to get the big mower in and out. I'll uh, add more later as we get some of those uh, deck boards. This whole that whole area underneath the OSB was just a, just a total mud pit. 
with us walking around, you know, after it's rained. Okay, getting her full up of gravel. <clears throat> Larry's over getting some more. We figure about three more cartloads of gravel will do it. Okay, we got our ramp finished. Put in the last four, five boards. Um, we thought that we were going to have to rip one uh, up here at the top as we got to the doors, but it worked out perfectly that they just fit. So we didn't even have to rip one. So that's a good thing. We love it. This is our Cadillac, Cadillac, our, what, our Cadillac ramp. I kept trying to, or going to say Cadillac Ranch, but anyway, what, it's taking us four days? Yeah, with all the rain stuff. Yeah, working, working uh, around the rain, it's taking us four days, so, but it's well reinforced. We should be able to get our big mower in and out of here without any problem. Okay, that was the first trip in on the new ramp. Do what? I'm talking to my video. How's your kid? You made a mess. Now I have to get the hose out and spray it off so it looks nice. <laughs> yep. I do. I guess it works. Okay, we got our shed delivered in, the, I think it was like the early part of June. So the previous clips were all from there. And I thought I would walk out and show you how nicely our grass has filled in um, around the ramp. Uh, no longer a mud pit. So uh, we're really really uh, excited about that and then our neighbor had we had a pile of dirt out here and our neighbor pushed it around and we that's all filled in now um, still have our rock pile and I'm going to show you what's going on with our uh, plants um, I haven't really done a video uh, in a while to show you the progress of our uh, our uh, plants we we got the um, the stone wall capped off and our uh, lilacs now that's a lilac and we've got three lilacs across the front and the two abelias um, the lilacs are now in their second bloom and uh, so they're uh, they're a dwarf lilac but they're called a re-blooming lilac so they do their bloom in May when the rest of the lilacs bloom and then they do a second bloom and that's what we've got going on now um, this uh, bush is called an abelia and the abelias have these little pink flowers on them. And the hummingbirds just absolutely love them. The hummingbirds and the bees. And these bloom all summer. Um, the plants, the lilacs, all of the, no. The two lilacs on each end and the abelias I actually ordered as little bitty starts off of Zulily. So this is how much they have grown since 2018. The, the uh, big lilac in the center only blooms once, and I think it's called a Korean lilac, and I got it as a little bitty start uh, from Lowe's in 2017. 
so it's filled out a lot since then I tried to prune it uh, earlier in the spring so that it would it was lopsided like um, this side was was heavier than the other side it's kind of evened out you know evened out a little bit so um, anyway it's it's doing okay uh, the this is the other abelia this is underneath the window that's the window that you see there is the craft room and uh, so that's all my knitting books are uh, uh, lined up there on a shelf and then this uh, this one I try to keep control of because it stretches out over the um, over the uh, the, the uh, stairway um, what I have uh, noticed with with this lilac is if I would trim this off then it would then new shoots would spray out like an umbrella and so like if you look in the back there where those three uh, three little branches are I had cut that off so those three branches have grown up, grown from the um, the uh, cutoff point. My, uh, I'm not really a, a f I'm more of a fan of perennials than than something you have to dig up. And but I planted some dahlias in these in these uh, pots, and they're doing okay. They're they're starting to come into flower after waiting all you know waiting half the summer for them but but they're doing okay then the lilies have all come and gone uh, these are just some lilies that I stuck in a pot because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with them and and uh, this one has done fantastic this one is kind of anemic the uh, big the big Asian lilies are gone they're uh, um, oh uh, you know they've had their flower and seemed like last year the flowers lasted a lot longer I, got, I need to weed in there the the um, clematis are still getting flowers they they've had a lot of a lot of flowers on them the white flowers you see there is a morning glory that grows behind the the um, skirting of the porch and I have tried and tried to get rid of that because it just grows up. Look at look at how it's grown up around the the. Uh, it's hard to tell the difference uh, between the morning glory and the clematis, but the leaves on the morning glory are bigger and more heart shaped. And then this one, our, my center clematis is still pretty pretty anemic looking the one Larry tried to kill with the weed killer and um, then this over here is the craziness of the morning glory that I uh, just you know I cut it off I've tried putting weed killer on it and it it just keeps coming back okay the other day I did a walk around uh, outside in the front and my battery, or my uh, um, my phone ran out of storage, so I didn't finish up. So and then it started to pour down rain, and it's been raining for three days. So um, I thought I would just do a little finish here for that video, so I can get it posted. Um, <clears throat> I'm showing you my little raised garden bed that I have out. Uh, we've been getting lots of tomatoes off of that and that mess down there on the lower right hand corner is uh, Cucumbers, I need to go out and tie them up. So they'll trail up the um, um, Trail up the trellis <clears throat> um, the uh, Frame everything that I have the the boxes and the frame uh, over it and the netting all came from Gardener's Edge or AM Leonard they're the same uh, the same thing same company the gardening supply um, uh, um, it's online anyway it's an online store and so I buy a lot of my gardening 
stuff there. Um, and then I'm going to show you my my um, tomato plants. I've got to reduce the thing here. <clears throat> These plants I started way back in February from slices of tomatoes laid out in a terracotta pot and just covered with dirt and it, just as an experiment to see if it wor would work because I saw somebody do it online. <clears throat> anyway, sorry, I've got a little frog in my throat. I keep clearing it. Um, it took forever for them to finally uh, germinate and they did and I I have uh, all summer these have been growing they're kind of tall and thin but I do have some tomatoes so we will see how they do I do uh, I had these two grow bags that I used last year for tomatoes and um, so I separated two of the biggest ones out you can here let's see you can see I've got a couple more blooms up here and uh, anyway I separated the two biggest ones out and put them in the grow bags and then this one that one had the first one has three tomatoes on it this one has three tomatoes on it and another oh there's another little bitty one starting there so six tomatoes and more blooms I don't know if I'll actually you know if it ends up uh, you know you know how it is they 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 grow to a point and then they don't grow anymore so these got such a late start now this um, was uh, four or five plants that I just, they were real tiny, and I just stuck them all in the same pot, terracotta pot. And um, I do have some blooms on this one, and now I don't see them. I saw them a minute ago, but, but anyway. And then this was the original terracotta pot, and these, I got a lot of greenery here, but not really, they're not really doing anything. That's probably too crowded in the pot. And uh, I've been using this dirt uh, that's in these grow bags. These were potato bags. I tried potatoes last year and didn't really, um, I got like one meal out of them. These are flower seeds that where you buy those mixed, you know, like a mixed bag or mixed box of seeds. And um, I finally have a zinnia bloom. I've got a few others that have uh, buds. Okay, ran out of storage again. Um, but I'm going to try to make this quick and finish this up. This, like I was saying, this pot, I threw a bunch of seeds in that came in a mixed um, um, just a mixed bag, and I have one little zinnia that is blooming, and a whole bunch of stuff that is trailing all over the place. Some of it just didn't do anything, like this. I have no idea what that is, but anyway, you know, just one of those things you try. Then our my last thing is this this is a house plant that was left from my dad's funeral uh, in 2005 and it has just been hanging on um, I've noticed that it does very poorly in the winter time I have a, a west or uh, let's see east facing window that I put it in but it just doesn't do anything so last year and now this year I am putting it out on the back porch and it just you know it gets all kinds of new leaves and all that so I think it's some kind of a tropical I'm not sure what it is and then our lettuce we have been picking off of we've got a couple of meals out of it I had over in this area where it's kind of bald um, a bird got in there and yanked a bunch of uh, uh, yanked a bunch of the 
plants out just as they were coming out so anyway okay I'm done with this and I'm get this video uploaded here in a couple minutes